KDE Plasma is my desktop environment of choice. It's the one I have been using for a while and I'm super excited for Plasma 6.5. It's filled with the brim with improvements, big and small, to the entire desktop, the settings and the UI. So we are going to take a look at everything new in Plasma 6.5. The first thing you will notice in Plasma 6.5 is that window corners are now rounded on all sides. Previously, Breeze theme windows only had rounded corners at the top. Now the bottom corners also match it. Not all apps support this yet. For example, Firefox still has square corners unless you enable title bar decorations. And of course, in KDE fashion, if you don't like it, you can disable the rounded corners in these settings. It's a small, subtle change, but it adds visual consistency. One of the biggest new features in Plasma 6.5 is automatic theme and wallpaper switching based on the day and night cycle. You can set your location manually or automatically, or even define custom sunrise and sunset times. This feature lets you automatically change wallpaper variants from light to dark, and automatically switch between light mode and dark mode themes. It's perfect for users who prefer light mode during the day and dark mode at night. Personally, I've switched to dark mode full time, but for the people working in bright environments, this feature is a great addition. Now it's time for the K runner. The Plasma search tool now supports fuzzy matching. That means you can type related or partial words like install or apps and still get accurate results such as discover. Other updates include the result appear after the first letter, not after typing the three letters. You can now search for global shortcuts, making it easier to find and trigger system actions directly from KRunner. Fail and support continues to improve in KDE Plasma 6.5 also. The drawing tablets now support dials and touch rings which can be mapped and configured. Added support for the picture-in-picture -picture protocol, keeping floating mini windows always on top. Support for the pointer wrap protocol, allowing apps like games to move the cursor programmatically. Overlaying plane support reduces GPU power use for full screen apps and videos, improving the performance and battery life. When recording a specific window, Plasma now includes pop-up elements in the capture. These improvements made KDE more efficient, smoother and better for gaming and video recording on VLAN. Let's have a look at other desktop changes KDE 6.5 has to offer. You can now star clipboard items to keep them permanently. Each item can also generate a QR code for easy sharing or copying. The sticky notes applet is now resizable, supports right click, new note, and you can make notes transparent for overlay use. Pin note look cleaner and integrate better with your desktop. Also, VLAN can now track the text cursor position enabling zoom or screen recorder to follow it precisely. The screen reader can now announce caps lock status also. Key repeat is disabled for shortcuts that can cause flashing or flickering, preventing seizure risk. New grayscale filter for color blindness and better text visibility. Visual indicators when audio plays. An emoji picker can find emojis using English keywords regardless of your system languages. Also, some applets can now offer right-click options without expanding menus. In Dolphin, the folder icon change button is now more visible and notification will appear when plugging in new devices. These small touches makes the desktop smoother and more polished overall.
The application permission page now works beyond Flatpak apps, showing permissions for native apps too, like screenshot or remote control access. For Flatpak apps, you get full granular control. The notifications, high priority processes, screenshot access, camera and location permissions, screen sharing as well. Flatpak settings can still be customized separately through the advanced menu. In quick settings, you can now pin your favorite themes for faster switching. For example, toggling between breeze light and breeze dark or automatic theme mode. You can now enable disable Bluetooth directly from the main page without diving into sub menus. The settings pages which are irrelevant to your hardware like the drawing tablets are hidden by default, making the app cleaner. You can toggle them back on if needed. Discovered networks are now visible directly in the main settings panel instead of only in the applet. And add new connection pop-up has also been modernized. Added support for Fortinet VPN connections and Plasma now shows low ink notifications after printing. Discover now lists hardware drivers via package kit thanks to the Solus developers. It improves error messages and update descriptions, allow users to review unprinted apps after installation. The Welcome Center now includes a keyboard shortcut guide showing shortcuts for your specific meta key, the Windows, Super or Linux key. Plasma 6.5 is all about refinement, efficiency and small usability boosts. Automatic light-dark switching, rounded corners, VLAN improvements, smarter discover and system settings. I tested it on my KDE Slimbook running on KDE Neon testing. Everything works smoothly, no major bugs or crashes. I will definitely be upgrading my main system soon. I don't need flashy new features. I value smoother workflow, better consistency and polish. And Plasma 6.5 delivers exactly that. Thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts about Plasma 6.5 in the comments. And of course, like, subscribe and click all those buttons below. See you in the next one.